Mahalo for tuning in to Island Focus and joining me in meeting Janice Jin, who is the news director at KITV4 Island News. Thank you for being with us today, Janice. Thank you. You know, your role as news director, uh, particularly at this time in America's history, is really important um, when we're talking about free speech. Could you share a little bit more about your responsibilities and what does free speech mean to KITV4? Well, I think, first of all, that the media plays a very important role in democracy. So part of that democracy is having this free speech. So our role as a news organization is to make sure that a lot of voices get heard. So what we often talk about in our business is we're the voice of the voiceless. Sometimes people feel that they can't express or they have a position that is not heard loud enough, if you will. Sometimes we get to do those stories and meet those individuals. The freedom of the press is so important. It's like free speech and First Amendment. I am part of Radio Television News Directors Association, which is RTDNA, a national organization that fights for the rights of broadcast journalists. So we're out there on kind of on two ends. One is sort of protecting the voice of the people who need to be heard and also protecting ourselves from the public who doesn't like us. And it doesn't help that we have current national leadership that calls us fake news. We are not fake news. We're telling you what's going on. So I believe so that people, our population, our citizens can make decisions about their lives, who to vote for, what to buy, who they should support. Sometimes it's just, if we do a story about science, it's stuff telling you something you just didn't know. So we have that opportunity to do that. At the same time, we protect ourselves from, if you will, the critics. So we have the critics on the politician side. We have the critics on the public side sometimes. And sometimes we also get into conflict with police. So with the establishment, the news organization, every journalist should be working as an independent voice to bring home to the people a view of what's going around them. Because you can't be everywhere, right? I can't be everywhere. We have a team of people who can go out and collect, if you will, images and sound and interviews with people in general. And I believe that everybody in this country has a story. Everybody in this country has a voice. We have to find them and give them time to express it. What I recognize is sometimes those voices, not everybody agrees with. So when that happens, um, as a public entity that we are, we get a lot of response, if you will. And it's those people who don't like what we just put on, whether that's the president or the mayor or, you know, could be the school principal. They will call in in a flash. They will write an email and say, take that person off the air. We don't like that interview. And I think in some ways I appreciate the fact that people are watching. I appreciate the fact that people are understanding they can have a position. But sometimes you're kind of overly critical. And I think that they're not, you know, I want them to be kind of, if you will, more open to understanding the democracy in which we live. It's so important to us that we have a choice and that we're that voice. What would you suggest in terms of allaying the fears when people get upset, you know, with you, because they get upset probably with their neighbor as well? Yeah, I, I don't know that I have a personal position that I could advise other than to say that I hope is that people um, people understand that the divergent of voices makes all of our voices actually better. Mm-hmm. And that opinions, I learned from you, if you and I don't agree, I learned from you, why don't you agree? And it might cause me to think, maybe I shouldn't think that way anymore. So that's the, that's the value of getting that information out that people can judge. It is the same thing that we're talking about. Presidential debates are coming. I think a lot of people are really looking forward to it. They want to hear what's being said so they can make a decision. So I think that if we listen to each other, we learn to listen in this breath of freedom of speech and First Amendment rights. If we listen to each other, we become a better, knowledgeable society. And First Amendment rights apply to everybody. Yes. You know, I think one of the things that we um, perhaps can help the audience understand is when we have a visceral reaction or a, an emotional reaction, 
maybe just to take a deep breath and to <laughs> listen a little more clearly because everybody has a right to the freedom yes. of what they think. That's what this is about, right? It makes us better. It just makes us better. These freedoms that we have makes our society, makes our individuals a better person, a better country, I hope. Well, thank you so much for the work that you do at KITV for, um, as well as in your professional organization and thank for you. sharing your personal thoughts with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for joining me today on Island Focus and meeting Janice Jin, who is the news director at KITV4 Island News. Aloha.